Welcome back to the channel, guys and girls. We're here today at Blue Springs, going to do a little bit of trout fishing. Cannot wait to get in here. It's that time of year where we get these nice foggy mornings. Fish are feeding like crazy, chasing, biting. It's going to be a great day. But today, we're going to try something new, something I've never tried, something I've noticed has taken root and has been a craze in the trout fishing industry for a few months now, and it's absolutely blown up, guys. And that would be mini chatterbait fishing now i've never used these but i could imagine that this will be an epic bait because i love throwing chatterbaits or bladed jigs at bass during the summertime so what we've got here guys is a mini chatterbait by z-man 1 16th ounce a little silver blade here a tiny little silver jig head and some little minnow like grubs so guys i am so excited to try this out let's go ahead and grab this little booger out of here We'll make us a few casts, we'll see how we do, we'll talk about this bait, we'll talk about bladed jigs, and we'll catch us a few fish. So stay tuned, stick around, and let's see how this goes. All right guys, so here's our little jig. This is actually not an Elastec, this is just a plain poured plastic here. Kind of surprised they didn't go with Elastec with their body, but hey, that's okay. Now when tying on these little bladed jigs, you'll see this little clip here. And all you wanna do is tie into this piece right here. So you'll see how that kind of stands up. You'll just run your line through there. You'll tie up your knot. You can tie either a polymer knot, a fisherman's knot, a clinch knot, you know, whatever you like. All right, and there's our bait. It's all tied up. And as you can see, your line just goes straight in here. And your little, your little uh, blade here, all it'll do is it'll wobble as you retrieve and make this thing have just an awesome little action. So let's go ahead and make a few casts. Let's see how we do. I would imagine that first thing this morning with these uh, big trout chasing, we'll do really well. So let's go ahead and make a few casts and see if we can catch this one. Oh yeah, that's an old big one right there. Shoo wee buddy, heck yeah. guys there's one on that old chatterbait fighter yes he is a fighter we got her in the net guys heck yeah Pop that old chatterbait right on out. There it is. Absolute beautiful first fish here. Let's go ahead and let her go. All right, so with that fish, I just casted it out. Slow retrieve. I cast it upstream, was bringing it back downstream. And that fish come up and just cracked it. No issues at all, guys. Let's see if we can get us another one. I will say that I'm surprised this is not a last tech right here. And considering that it's not, I would recommend to go pick up like maybe some uh, gulp alive minnows or something a little bit uh, a little bit better than this particular body. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's got a little curly tail grub tail. Spins a little bit, but I would recommend getting something with some scent and maybe a little bit longer. But let's get back after it. And again, we're just making a cast upstream and just a slow retrieve back down.
one chase it all the way up right there. Kind of cast one out and bring it along, along the current here. Seen that fish moving along with the current downstream. I casted right to him and I brought the bait in front of his face and he came up and absolutely smashed it, guys. He came up and smashed it. All right. There's fish number two on the chatterbait in the net. Looks like we've got him right in the bottom jaw pop that thing right on out with that little pair of pliers there absolute gorgeous fish number two on the chatterbait we lost our body but that's okay we're going to uh, actually switch up i've got one more color we're going to switch up colors try it out and see if it's any good and uh, we'll try to get one more and then we'll talk a little bit more about it take off big girl oh yeah there she goes all right, I changed up colors to a little bit of a darker, kind of a black and silver profile here. We're gonna cast this around. We're gonna try to pick us up one more. I, got, I wanna go ahead and say though, that this little bladed jig is an absolute fish catcher. I would say that if you're gonna go out and get you some of these, go ahead and grab yourself a pack of trailers, anything that you really like. I feel like you can run night crawlers on this, mealworms, live, uh, live minnows if you wanted to, um, pinched crawlers, trout magnets, um, but going ahead and pair up different bodies and kind of figure out what the fish are wanting the most for that day And then I feel like the action of this bladed jig will absolutely slay for you. But let's get back in here Let's see if we can catch us one more There's one, guys. He liked that old black color. Not very big. Still an absolute excellent one. Fighting super hard. Heck yeah. Right there's fish number three on the bladed jig yet again hooked in the bottom jaw the bit of an upside down hook set that is mainly because of the retrieve with these baits that's totally normal i'm gonna give up a little bit more fight in the net here there we go pop that thing right on out take a little look at this one here absolute gorgeous fish yet again i'd say about a two and a half pounder maybe just a two let's go ahead and let her go there she goes heck yeah so guys what do i have to say about this little beauty well i would recommend you go out and get you some once again change up your trailers here switch to all kinds of stuff whatever you like but go out and get you some guys they make them in a gold and a silver uh both will work just fine but uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've got any tricks or tips for this. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and smash that like button. But until next time, boys and girls, tight lines.